Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. Some massive news for the Kansas State fans coming out of the transfer portal. He's one of my personal favorite players available in the portal. Former Colorado running back Dylan Edwards returning home to Kansas State. This is extremely exciting if you're a Kansas State fan. Not only Dylan Edwards, elite with the football in his hands. This is an elite pass catcher out of the backfield, a guy that you can use in the slot really just an offensive weapon. And you look at Kansas State in the past years and how they've used guys like Deuce Vaughn Dill. I'd be lying to you if I didn't see Dylan Edwards come into Kansas State and say, this is a guy that reminds you of Deuce Vaughn in terms of what he can do as a pass catcher, what he can do with the football in his hands. I think this is a perfect fit. This makes a lot of sense for both parties. Want to get into two different things. One, talk about Dylan Edwards, what he brings to Kansas State, but more importantly, have the discussion that Doing my Kansas State prep in the offseason, I look at this Kansas State offense and say, this is probably the most talent they've had on the offensive side of the football in a really long time. Obviously, Avery Johnson, two phenomenal running backs with DJ Giddens and Dylan Edwards and some pass catchers that I want to get into as well. If you're a Kansas State fan, we have our Big 12 rankings coming out in the next couple of days. This is a program that can win the conference, do some real damage in 2024. Fired up to get into this one. Before we do, and as always, just want to say thank you to you guys. Y'all know the boys have had a blast talking the transfer portal. Can't thank you guys enough for rocking with it. If y'all do enjoy the content, enjoy the updates, consider subscribing to the channel. Dill, Kansas State fans, be on the lookout for the Big 12 rankings coming out relatively soon. And Dill, I'm going to give you the tee box here. Dylan Edwards going to Kansas State. How are we feeling? I mean, this is such a good fit for him. I think you kind of look at what Kansas State's been doing in the past, keeping that same system in place as they're promoting from within at the offensive coordinator spot. They've done such a good job with running backs like Dylan Edwards. And I think you saw at Colorado, he can really catch out of the backfield. I think there's a new dimension that they can unlock in terms of what he can do on the ground that they just couldn't get going at, at Colorado because they really didn't have the offensive line to do it. And they didn't really ever commit to running the ball either. So I think you like what Dylan Edwards can do in this Kansas State offense. I think he can put up big numbers in the air, big numbers on the ground. I just think it's a really good fit when you when you think about how Kansas State. Two runs. things that really excite me about Dylan Edwards before we kind of get into what this Kansas State offense looks like. One, he was a true freshman in 2023, a guy that was extremely undersized coming out of high school. In my mind, he's only going to get better. We know the long speed that he has. In fact, what's even more impressive than the long speed in which Dylan Edwards has is the quickness, the short area ability to make people miss and then put on the burners. This is, you make no mistake about it, one of the more juiced up players in all of college football. One of those guys that just get the football in his hands and watch good things happen, but he's only going to get better because you saw that he was a true freshman at times dealing with contact as he continues to put on some weight, kind of get that college body. I think Dylan Edwards as a player is only going to get better, but you said it more importantly Dylan Edwards at the Colorado offense, the Colorado fans would be the first ones to tell you this. This offensive line last year was just not it. Not a lot of opportunity, not a lot of space for Dylan Edwards to be successful. You look at Kansas State, what they've done extremely well in the past, getting their running backs in space. I couldn't think of a better running back than Dylan Edwards to kind of get in space and let him absolutely cook in open field. And I think the big thing is you kind of watch a lot of Kansas State's run game is predicated on going a little bit lateral, using yep. them in swing passes, and then trying to find that one crease. When you think about how Dylan or what Dylan Edwards' skill set is, it is that acceleration piece because he really can get going quickly. Yeah, you catch a swing pass if you have a little bit of a crack of daylight, he can go. And Kansas State's done a really good job of letting their running backs find those little creases, whether it's in the pass, whether it's in the run. However they do it, they've always been able to do it. And again, when you have that guy who can accelerate the way Dylan Edwards can, and not saying DJ Giddens can't, but that's not necessarily his game the same way that it's Edwards. I think those two can complement each other. I think Dylan Edwards can be really successful. And I think Avery Johnson can. So I think you have a three-headed kind of monster in the backfield that I, I really want to see how Kansas State uses it. Yeah, we get into DJ Giddens, or excuse me, Dylan Edwards, a guy that if you're a safety linebacker, you take a bad angle, even a slight bad angle, like Dylan Edwards is a guy that runs right by you. You said it best. Like what a better running back combination than DJ Giddens, 215 pounds, downhill guy, averages over 3.2 yards per contact after the care, after contact, excuse me. And then you put in a guy like Dylan Edwards, who's probably – one of the more juiced up running backs in the country. 
Then you add a guy like Avery Johnson. I see Chris Klein in this offensive staff getting to work with some two running back sets where you have DJ Giddens, Dylan Edwards, Avery Johnson in the backfield. We all know what Avery Johnson can do with his legs. I mean, how vicious would a split back triple option be with those three? It'd be like unbelievable. You have Avery Johnson, Dylan Edwards going out after like giving a little read option to DJ Giddens. I mean, that's a play I can just like envisioning it now can be really effective. I think the formation can be really good. And I think, frankly, both their abilities to get out and catch passes allows you to put them both on the field at once. That's probably something worth mentioning is you're trying to figure out how to get the best players on the football field. DJ Giddens, you can put in the slot. You can motion them back into the backfield. Guy that had 50 targets, 36 catches last year, really, really comfortable receiving out of the backfield. You can tell, kind of runs routes like a wide receiver. I, you said it best. <laughs> like There are so many creative ways you can get going with this Kansas State offense in that run game. You know they're going to want to run the football. It's a very veteran offensive line. Dill, getting to this Kansas State offense, and we'll get in more to the Kansas State defense as we get some more film and kind of solidify our thoughts during our offseason prep. You look at this Kansas State offense, Avery Johnson, you went with Avery Johnson over Will Howard. Will Howard ends up going to Ohio State, probably going to be their starting quarterback. That tells you what Kansas State thinks of Avery Johnson. Most Kansas State fans, including myself, we saw it during that 2023 season. Not only the rushing attack, though. I mean, this is a Kansas State offense that you know they're going to have a good offensive line. You know they're going to be able to run the football, especially with the talent that they have, whether it's Avery Johnson, Giddens, or Dylan Edwards. How about the wide receiver room where you had a true freshman in Jace Brown who multi-sport athlete coming out of high school, kind of that guy that flies under the radar, the exact guys that Chris Kleiman always seems to get from the high school ranks. He seems like he's going to be a dude. Keegan Johnson – we all know has the potential to be very good. And then you throw in a guy in Dante Cephas who, if you can get him back to that Kent State form that we saw in 2022, difference maker at that wide receiver I mean, spot. It's not his fault what happened at Penn State. No. Even who watched that Penn State offense can tell you they didn't have a chance, those wide receivers. I think, again, you look at how Kansas State uses creativity, allows their guys to get a little bit more opportunities to work in some space and not be so – kind of like bland, if you will, in terms of what Penn State likes to do. I think Dante Cephas can really take a big step. I, I think people, frankly, have forgotten about him because he was a big-time player when Penn State took him. Penn State obviously did what they did on offense, and people forget those wide receivers can play him, Keandre Lambert-Smith. I mean, I'm looking for those type of guys from Penn State to have big bust-out years because, again, I don't think their numbers are in nearly indicative of who they are. And you look at Dante Cephas and say that is the exact – wide receiver that I think Kansas State was missing last year, like that bigger body possession wide receiver that can work vertically down the field. Not a shot. I mean, Ben Sinn, a phenomenal tight end, one of the better tight ends in the country last year. Phillip Brooks was a great wide receiver, but you know, kind of knew his skill set. He wanted to operate after the catch. And I think Kansas State kind of lacked that juice of that wide receiver that can work vertically down the field. We know Avery Johnson can push it down the field. You have that wide receiver that defenses have to respect. I think Probably going to open some stuff up from the underneath concepts as well. Dill, we'll dive more into this Kansas State offense during the offseason, but I am fired up for this addition. I think it makes perfect sense. And quite frankly, I mean, I'm fired up for this Kansas State team in 2024. We'll cut it there. Appreciate you guys rocking with the fellas. Again, if y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel, and we'll talk to y'all later.